Hello Zebraherd, welcome to new Pokemon Snap, a brand new Pokemon Snap game for the Nintendo Switch. As you can see, we're heading to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, where hopefully we can take a bunch of beautiful pictures of Pokemon. All right, here we are. The Pokemon are so cute already. Oh, there's Pikachu and Eevee. I know those ones. I won't get their names mixed up. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, over here. Well, hello. <laughs> Greetings. So who are these two people? Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences, or LENS for short. My name is Mir. I'm researching Pokemon and their natural environment here for Florio Island. Yeah, so. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor is going to study every single island here in the Lentil region. <laughs> no one's ever done an ecological survey like this before. It's going to be amazing. No one? Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? <laughs> Oops, good point. You've heard the stories of Captain Vince, haven't you? No, I have not. But. But even counting him, Professor, your survey is going to be the first of its kind in a hundred years. That's awesome. Well, thanks. This is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. Jeez. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm your research assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Anyway. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in, uh, in this program, why don't we step into the lab to get settled? Right you are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Okay, awesome. So it looks like we are joining these two. Now. All right, allow me to explain. The Lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Ph photographing the, those Pokemon helps us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. By the way. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. All right. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Whoa, nice. <laughs> I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team too. That's right, it's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. It's also It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here, so take good care of it. All right, sounds good. I like it, very fancy. Hmm. Got our fancy new camera. Awesome, right? <laughs> the professor invented it. Professor. Can I explain how to use it, professor? Anyway. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparations. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go outside. See, this game is all about finding different Pokemon and taking really cool pictures of them. Tutorials are based on default button layouts. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, do I take a picture? Try getting a shot of that Pokemon. You can press the A button to take a photo. Okay. Yes, Boom. Going. So that was a, a pavilion, I think it said? Now why don't you try moving the camera to line up your shot? Sounds great. See that circle in the center of your viewfinder? That's mm -hmm. called the pointer. Gotcha. If you use the left stick to move the pointer around, the camera will move to follow it. Give it a try. Okay, so we can, whoa, that's so cool, and then I can just... Try to snap a picture. You can point the camera up and down, and even spin all the way around left or right. Oh wow, this area is so pretty, I love it. You can use motion controls to aim your camera too. How do I do that? I just don't work on the pro oh, control right look. now. Here comes Pikachu. Oh boy. Oh, he's adorable. The so it's lined up with Pikachu. Okay, there we go, there we go. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. When the professor's evaluating your photos. Try snapping a photo. Okay, so let's get him maybe a little more central. So, oh, I can't. I can't move it. Okay. I was going to try to get him center frame. But since Pikachu's a little far away, it looks kind of small, huh? Times like this call for zooming in. To zoom in, just hold the ZL button. You'll st try snapping a photo of Pikachu looking nice and big. Okay, so zoom in just like that and boom. Beautiful. For sure. Looks like you've already gotten the 
think of using your camera. You're doing great. Thank you. Oh, right. You can adjust your camera and motion controls from the settings menu. You can also adjust them from the pause menu while you're out doing research. Hey, Professor, you've covered the basics. All right, that's awesome. So, got a couple there for the picture book. Hello. How was that? I hope you're getting the hang of your research camera. Anyway. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. First of all. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photographed? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are the best. Oh wow, so I get to choose. Try selecting the Pikachu folder. Oh, this is so cool, so it's nice and organized. You can choose a photo with left or right or by moving the pointer. Press A when you've decided which one to show me. So obviously this one where maybe he's a little bit more visible, probably a better idea. Now, try selecting the Pavilion folder. Or Vivillon, not Pavilion, okay. Uh, you can choose a photo with left and right. Okay, so same thing. Press plus or select to show Professor when you're ready to, for me to evaluate your shots. All right, Professor, what do you think? Starting with photo number one. Oh, it's Pikachu. This is the first time you've gone to it as your subject. Very cool. Oh wait, oh gosh, I didn't read that. So it looks like he gives something about a star writing. Uh, I came up with a system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject's pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to getting a high pose score. Now, on to the other factors. Size is straightforward. The larger your subject, subject Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then, there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing in you in your photos. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame for a nice, balanced photo. And finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of info all at once. Let me boil it down, remember this, and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame and snap the shutter. With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. Obviously, there's only one Pokemon there, but almost 3,000 points, not too bad. Looking good, hard to believe you're a beginner. All right, so there's our one star. So I guess we need to get like more stars so we move forward. And Vivillon. This one wasn't as good. Next is Vivillon, a new addition to our research. Nice work. I see it's in flight, nice going. This isn't bad, uh, a bad shot at all. Okay. And not as many points, but still pretty good. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is a key to a good size score. All right, that's great. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work towards. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your adventure. Will do. Now then. That should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photography expeditions. Oh nice. It's called a Neo one. It's the best, it can teleport to far off places in no time flat. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago with a little help from someone I know. You see, it makes a use of energy hotspots scattered throughout the lentil region. Jeez. Come on, Professor, the details can wait. Fair enough, let's get you moving. Climb on in and touch your camera to the console. All right, so we're going on our first like photography adventure. Very cool. Let's get going. Good luck, you've got this. Thank you. First photo I'm sure it'll be great. Okay, so off we go. Research lab, Professor Muir's personal lab at the Ex Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. There you can access your photo decks, your space, and other research data. 
Yep, that's where we just were. But here we are in our first little expedition. I love it. So this game was originally on the Nintendo 64. This is like a new, fully remade. Like I think it's like just like a new game, uh, more like a sequel, I guess. Oh my. Uh, there we go. So apparently there's supposed to be. Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay, I can take up the 70 photos. Oh, there's Grookey. Grookey, come back. Uh, okay. Let's do Dodrio. Oh, they're running away. Hopefully I can get them. There's Grookey. I saw Pichu, but I'm sort of missing him now. There's so many things to take photos of. That's a bouffant. Uh, Pichu, come back. Not the best photo of Pichu, gotta be honest. Uh, weird, okay. I don't see anything else to take photos of right now. I really wanted a picture of Pichu facing the camera. It's too late now. And this is where maybe like playing through the level several times might be better as we pick up on different things. Like Badoof just hiding in the grass there. Very cute, whoa. That's a, uh, what is it called? An emolga. I have 63 more photos I can take. And over here I see a wormple wriggling around in the grass. Oh, here we go, here we go. Perfect, oh, beautiful shot. There's another wormple. Almost got it, almost got it, ready? Boop. There we go, one on the tree. All right, I don't think I'm missing anything more. I wish you could turn a little faster sometimes. What is that? Crystal bloom. Wait, we're we supposed to be taking pictures of like ecological stuff like that as well. I guess so. Not just Pokemon. Oh, get some some Swana. I thought it was a Wingle for a second. That's a really nice picture. It's cool because it feels like an amusement park ride. Okay, remember more Pokemon in the shop, the better. Whoa, Dodrio! That was a cool shot. I like it. Oh, you're running. All right, I still have 50 more pictures I can take here. So you can't just like make a ton. Oh, there's a Magikarp. The Bidoof, but not really facing us. Oh, there's Grookey again. There we go, you're, you're facing me this time. Grookey and P Pichu. <laughs> so cute, just hanging out in there. Okay, Bidoof I definitely want a picture while he's like making this little dam there. That's cool. Anything where they're sort of doing what they would do in nature, that's a really cool thing to take a picture of. You know, I've seen a nature photographer or two in my day out in the savannah. There we go, that was pretty good. I think that there, yeah, there's some more swana flying overhead. I wanna take a picture of this poor, I wish I could go out of the cart and help him right now. Four guys struggling. There we go, that's a good wormhole picture. I think that might be our best one so far. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's like really close up. What in the world? Oh, okay. A little confuser for a second. Is there anything back here though? Just that weren't ball. Looking up, down, all around for different Pokemon doing different things. Hello. That's a cool tail though. It was looking your way just now. Okay. So there's a lot going on here. Uh, Mostly the same, if I go like that, there's a bunch of them, you know? Like a bunch of Pokemon. This is the Comfly. And it looks like we're almost done, we're almost through everything. Trying to get one to look at us now. Wish I was ready to like, get their attention. Okay. Um. Whoa, hello, I didn't see you. Sounds great. Almost missed that one Pokemon and all the flowers. So hopefully I like pictured everyone. I wonder if there'll be like some kind of like completion marker or something. Very fascinating so far. Welcome back. Welcome back. I hope you had a good time in Florio Nature Park. Anyway. Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose one photo per Pokemon. One photo, oh man. Yeah, we got some good ones. I'll have to really look through. So we got Vivalon here. Um, Vivalon's not as important, I don't think, because we got one before. I like this one. Now we got Dodrio. This one seems like the best one. Look at that pose. It's out there doing something. Uh, we got Grookey. This is the only Grookey photo I got, and it's, it's not that good. Oh, we got Bouffant. Just some Bouffant out in the distance, sort of grazing. Uh, Pichu. Out of all of them, I mean the one hiding in the grass, I guess, and Bidoof, 
Uh, I think this is our best one. For Emolga, uh, this one's better. That one was super cute. We got Wurmple, there was a couple to choose from from Wurmple. I think this one's the best one. We got four ghosts, only one, right at the end. I just barely saw it in time. Swanor all over the place. I think this one, sitting in the water, Halo, was everywhere. But the one on the map was the coolest. Magikarp. This guy, he's so, so he's struggling so much. I feel so bad. We got Comfy all over the place. Um, I think maybe one like that? And then there was one with no subject. I don't know what to do with these, but hey. Um, let's show Professor, let's see what he thinks. All right. All right. Let's have a look. So, Vivalon. Oh, it's Vivalon, it, it takes my breath away. I see it's in flight, nice work, keep it up. So overall, a much better score. It's gonna give us a gold star. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looking nice and big is key to a good size score. Which is definitely what we got there. So it's still one star. I don't know how we get multiple stars. We got Dodrio here. A new discovery. Next, we've got Dodrio, a new addition to our research. Great timing. So that's gonna be two stars. I suppose, it's weird, it's very weird. Um, whoa! That's like diamond. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I, I'm really not sure. Black right, Grookey, this is like a not so good photo. But it's cool to get him discovered. We 2,500 points still. Uh, we got Booflant. Once again, they were grazing, which was cool. Uh, still a one star picture. Okay. Got Pichu. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, so it looks like 2,500 around is like the average. Now this one was pretty cute, right? Like I think this deserves two stars, but still one star. Still have a decent score over 3,000. We got a Mulga. With the Mulga, we got two stars. Cause that was like a cool little pose they were doing. Um, Wurmple, like this one was so cute. Okay, but still not super crazy. Florgus. A new discovery. Yep, they're all new discoveries. Uh, and then Swana. This is like a really cool photo. I think this new one was discovery. good. Nice work. But not too much to it. 4,000 points for it though, wow. We got Talo. A new discovery. Nice work. But not a crazy score. So I guess at some points we just have to wait for them to make like a certain pose and that's when we need to snap. But like we do with the Dodrio there. That was like a big thing. Okay. The thing that means we got this last one with Comfy. Oh, that was three stars? What did I do? Okay. Very cool photo to snap then, that's for sure. Wow. I wasn't expecting that to be the three star one. So what do you think? One last thing, let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category, from one star to four stars. So in short, fill up that photo deck, so keep that in mind, and you'll get on the right track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Very cool, so we've leveled up to level two. Another step forward for our research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. You got a research title, Photo Program Newbie. You researched Fourier Nature Park for the first time. You got a research title, look this way. You got a score of a thousand points or more in the direction category during a photo evaluation. Smack dab in the middle. You got a photo, you got a score of a thousand points or more in the placement category during a photo evaluation. So, uh, we can return to camp, save photos to album, sure, why not? After your research trips, you can choose photos to save to your album, which is your space in the lab. You can also choose to recent choose resnap to make some changes to photos before you save them. Um, well, there's not anything like specifically I gotta save, you know, I don't think. I think I'll leave this be for now. All right then, so let's return to camp. 
and see what else is going on. Very interesting game so far, though. A young girl who lives in, uh, loves Pokemon and helps Professor Mirror as his research assistant. Her curly ponytails are her signature look. That's about Rita. Okay, very cool. Uh, things are going interesting so far. I, I like this game a lot. I, I think this is something we can really enjoy. That covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon, after a little more practice. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a, a look at your photo decks anytime. <laughs> I'll explain more about the about that when you stop by the lab. Anyway. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Awesome, so I guess we're just at this point a full on photographer. So we have research, the lab, and setting. So let's go to the lab really quickly and check some things out here. Hello Rita, here. how are you? This is the professor's lab. Not that it's your first time here, of course. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he's pretty, he pretty much lives right. here. Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. That server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First, you can check your photo decks. That's the encyclopedic record you're building with the photos you're taking. Isn't it cool getting to put together your very own photo decks? Next, there's your space. That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. By the way. Your album is for photo for photos you want to keep, but not in your photo docs. You can edit your album photos in some cool ways too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Professor. Hey professor, was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Also. Did you cover that we can what we can do on the internet? What? Oh yeah, that was it. If you use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world. Well, that's cool. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer nice job by giving the photo a little digital medal. They're called sweet medals. Give all you want, people love getting them. That's right, you can also see other photographers' rankings in each score category. Okay. All right, I think that's everything. I'm sure you'll figure it all out quick. All right. Don't be shy, try everything out. Will do. <laughs> So, as you can see, we got our photo decks here. And this is gonna have a collection of photos we have taken. We got our Pokemon. And sort of like, that's my goal. Show me a photo of, po of, of a Pokemon to make a page for it. On that page, you can move your pointer over the Pokemon and press A to see its movements in here to cry. If you discover it has other forms, you'll be able to see those here too. So we got Florgus. And you can see, like now there's like proper descriptions. Um, oh, that's cool, we have different options. Like, pretty common behavior. So, I guess with like different behavior types, like a bit unusual, I don't know what we did there, I guess it was like waving at us or something. A little weird, but um, that's why we need to take like different photos at different times. Like, uh, where was it? The, like the, the Dodrio, looking around like what's going on, that's gonna give us a different behavior star ranking. So I'm sure we need to also submit one of Dodrio when it's not really doing anything, like you're on an alert right now. So if we can get one, um, cause we saw that before with, where is that? Uh, the v v Vivalon in flight. So if we can maybe find one of like Talo in flight and then also not in flight. That's why it's a little annoying you can only do one per Pokemon. By the way, here's our map. Here you can view information about courses you've researched. Pokemon and objects of interest are marked on the map so you can look back on your trips. So here we go, Florio Nature Park. In this lush green park, see Pokemon up close in their natural habitat. So that's where we've been sort of focused on for right now, but I guess we'll be able to explore other places in different areas. Um, and can we go here again? Uh, but this is where we just were. This course runs along a large lake and through a field of colorful flowers. Pokemon are a regular sight here, which makes it the ideal location for young up and coming photographers. Oh wow, look at all this information. I love it. So you can see Pikachu, we took this photo. Um, or Pichu, sorry. Um, fascinating, okay. So I guess if we really wanna try to find like, oh, I really need a photo of Pichu again. I know where Pichu is multiple times. Same thing with uh, Florgus. Very interesting. There might be other Pokemon in here that I just like I missed last time. So that's what we gotta sort of work on. Okay then, so 
Also, objects of interest, but that looked like it was grayed out, like I couldn't select it, so we'll save that for later. I'm sure at some point they'll tell us. It'd be cool if we could go back out there now. Yep. Okay, so what's next? That was a photo dex where this is our space. And this is where we have album, our research titles, which we can choose. Uh, I'll present you with various research titles as you progress through your our survey. Check here to see what's possible to get and your progress on each one. So we had a couple. If I can like organize them by like what I have, that'd be nice. Uh, gotta go back to page one. There we go. So we can do smack dab in the middle. I cannot select that. Huh, weird. I thought that's what we did here. Maybe not. Either way, research log. I'll keep various records about your research here. I have them update them constantly, so come back and check anytime. That's cool. We'll look at more stats later. We got our info, which I guess we could change if we wished. Uh, our highest score is of this one right here. Very nice. And then our album. Here you can view photos you've saved after research trips, including edited photos and resnaps. If you save data runs, if your save data runs out of room for photos, you can expand it to fit more. Very cool. So I don't have anything saved in my album right now. But with that being said, uh, like we have our internet stuff here where we can upload photos. Please avoid posting inappropriate content. I know, I would never. Uh, come here to view photos and rankings from players all over the world. You can customize how you appear online on your page, so please check there if you're curious. Okay then, so, oh this is so cool. You see it's like some trending photos. So I guess at some point, Pichu has a little flower on their head. That's so cute. Okay, um, I wonder then if I should look for that then. Over here we have uh, the doof. Oh, it looks like, oh, maybe you can edit the photo so that there's stuff on there. Like that looks real, but like this looks like, like little pictures that they put on there after. Interesting. That's so cute, I love it. Okay then, so we're not gonna upload anything just yet, but we got a research camp over here. Okay, we're back out this way. So I think that we're good to hop back in, do some more research. At least one more time for today's video. I think that's gonna be fun. Are you headed out on another expedition already? Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do with your research camera. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon and points out anything unusual. Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. Basically, anything that makes the system go, check this out. Well, I guess that's all the detail we're gonna get. Yep. You'll get the hang of it once you try it. Rita, would you mind dem demonstrating? Leave it to me, Professor. All right, get that camera ready. All right, so I guess there's some kind of scan feature we can use here. Tutorials are based on the default button layouts. Okay, sounds good. All you gotta do is press the X button. Try it out. Okay, so we'll run a scan. You saw that Pokemon's name pop up, right? Yeah, and it was Pikachu. Did you also notice that question mark? Mm -hmm. That tells you there's something you can take a closer look at. First, move the pointer over the question mark. Did you okay. see the pointer change shape? Yes. Your cue to press and hold the X button to analyze whatever's there. Huh. Give it a try. There. Now you should see the results. Yep, the Neo One. This vehicle is essential for your Pokemon research. Come to think of it, I heard that a friend of the professor's came up with the name Neo One. Well, pretty easy, right? When this icon pops up at the bottom of your screen, there's something nearby to check out. Okay, then. When you see that, try running a scan and taking a careful look around. Oh, right, I almost forgot. There's one more cool thing you should know about scanning. Some Pokemon will react to the sound and electrical signal from the scan. If it gets their attention, that's your chance to snap a photo. Gotcha. The calls it an accidental say cheese feature. <laughs> anyway, that ought to cover everything. All right, so I guess we get to tell them to say cheese. Professor. Hey, Professor. Explanation's all done. Thank Thanks, Rita. Don't hesitate to run a scan. It'll tell you a lot about your surroundings. Okay, so now with this new scan feature, I guess we can go back to the place we went to last time. First of all, 
Try taking lots of photos of Pokemon at the nature park during the day. All right, the endless which we're all screen parks, see Pokemon up close in their natural habitat. Let's go for it. Yep, so we've already read about all this. Why don't we take a bunch of photos and surprise our professor with them? I mean, what? why would he be surprised? That's like the whole reason we're here. Neo One, a vehicle developed by Professor Mirror and for Pokemon research, the Neo One provides a comfortable ride in any environment. Its self-navigating system is not gonna be read about here. <laughs> okay, I'll read it some other time. So yeah, it's the same sort of like map again, I suppose, but this time we have more features. Whoa, and they're like in different places. That's so cool. I might discover something new here. So if we go like this. Oh, hi guys. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, I missed my chance. Darn. Um. Oh, you're taking a nap. That's interesting. So this is our closest picture of Boofland we've gotten. Oh. Definitely while you're on the tree like that. Really big deal. Uh, what is going on now? Uh, hey guys. Oh look at, oh look at you, I got it, I got it, I got it. You're napping. Oh, you jumped in the water. What are you doing down there? I guess you're gone. Um. Okay, that didn't quite work. Uh, uh They're up and at it now, so we're not gonna worry about it. Oh, oh there's something to scan, apparently, where? There you go. So we found some charred fruits on the ground. Interesting. Whoa. Ah, oh, there's like so much going on. It's hard to like keep up with everything. Where, where, where? Right over here. Okay. The crystal bloom. Let's let's get a picture of you for sure because you're on the tree now. That's gonna be a different like behavior event. So what's cool is that I can. Whoa. There we go. Got a picture of the swan. Apparently a Pichu as well. Um. Oh, look at the little baby ducks. I love them, they're so cute little ducklet. <laughs> that makes me so happy. Uh, just trying to figure everything out here. What's over this way? We got Pichu over there still. Hmm. Oh my. Okay, you're running. That was good, that was actually really good. Um, hey buddy. <laughs> you're just standing there. And you're like digging away there. There's, there's so much to do. So much to take pictures of. Oh boy. Hey guys! All right, what's next, what's next? Over where? Over here. Got it. That is some kind of, whoa, some fruit. Hey buddy, let's get a close up of you. Oh my gosh, Tangrowth is huge! You got like a big scale of the Pokemon here. It's wild. Um, what do we got? Something up here. Whoa! I didn't see before, Toot Hoot. Wait, wait, I didn't take a scan of it. Um, there we go. Who has unusual ways of sleeping, always on one foot. That was fascinating. I think Wormple was doing something there. Darn, I missed it. Okay, uh, I've already taken a picture of you. I don't think it's really all that crazy to do it again. Okay, so there's a couple of things going on here. Oh, I guess I like do this little spin motion. Hard to picture, really. I thought that's more of a video kind of thing when they do a little spin. There they are. Look at them running around, so cute. Uh, you're almost at the end, yep. And what is that? That's another floor guess. And this is a, a nice little boo plant just chilling out. Oh, there's a little thing on him. Hey, buddy. There you go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you're waving. Oh my gosh, I missed it. Wait, wait, hi. Get your attention or no, that didn't really work. You can look over here, no? Oh my gosh, interesting. I might have tried that like another time. <laughs> See you shortly. Sounds great. But that's really cool. That there's like more stuff every time you do it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Make any new discoveries? Uh, we took 39 photos and 14 Pokemon photographs. I would sure hope so. So with Booflant, um, I guess I was more of a Booflant photo than anything else. Uh, there was a lot to choose from. There's even one over here. 
See, what is... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. How does it know, like, that that was a two-star? Which one was it? Okay, so this one's a two-star, I think, because you can see it right here. That's what we need to know, I guess? Like, I don't know. It's a little confusing. So we can either choose that one or this one. I sort of like this one. Um, the trio. That's a little weird. Why are these? Oh, no, they're both. Yeah, because they're both of him sleeping. Let's see that one. Uh, Vivalon, we didn't get anything new. Even though it's like planted on the tree here, you would think that'd be different. Weird. For Bidoof, once again, nothing new, apparently. They're swimming, they're doing all sorts of stuff. It's not weird. That's where I'm like sort of still figuring this game out. I love this one though. They're swimming, that's super cute. Wurmple, nothing crazy. Uh, have you climbing on the tree? Same thing for Swana. Like we got the one star before. You'd think pictures of it flying would be different. I wanna go for this one. That one looks really cool in my opinion. Pichu over this way. Pichu running around sounds good. Ducklet is adorable. I'm gonna go for this one. Rookie, that one for sure. Florgus, I thought I'd gotten Florgus waving, but just barely did. Can I like have a, like how do you do the retake? Isn't that something you can do? The stars I'm still figuring out. That's sort of the hard part. She got really excited when I took this. Uh, Rita did, so maybe I'll do that one. That's a really cool picture of Hoot Hoot sleeping in there. Um, Taylo, I've already taken this picture. So it's not that big of a deal. And apparently, the previous one was three stars. So like, very weird. <laughs> There's a lot of like little nuances to figure out in this game. We'll get there eventually. Um, now that. No, let's see what, we, what we've got. So first off, we got the blue plant, and that's two stars. The more Pokemon you get in a photo, the more insight gives us into the area's ecosystem. Very cool. We got the Drio here. Um, next is the Drio. It's a one-star photo. Nice That's work. new. It looks like it's fast asleep. Nice work. Keep it up. And then with this one, next is Vivalon. Isn't it mesmerizing? Ah, I see. What fascinating behavior. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all, but it's not new. Uh, which would you like to keep? This photo or the one in the, in the, oh, okay, well, obviously the one that's higher. Um, got the doof again. Nice work. You would think this would be a better one. Wow, yeah, much better. I like this photo more, too. Okay. Oh, uh, we got Wurmple. Not a better photo, though. Nice work. Uh, I would not keep that one. It's where that's like, it's not a different star, then. It's not like every different behavior is important. Yeah, we'll take that one. Oh, uh, we got Ducklet, so cute. I love it. And decent score. Got Grookey. I mean, I like this photo better. I think I'm gonna keep with this one. Okay. We got Florgus again. It's a better photo, that's for sure. Uh, 100%. We got Tangrowth. He's a big boy. And that's gonna be silver. We got Hoo Hoot. A new discovery. Nice work. And that is not a ton of points though. Um, nice till it's the same exact photo. Slightly better apparently. It was a little closer up. Mm, nice work. Uh, so there we go. So that was like a different one. It was a different star ranking. It's just so weird how that works. Uh, we didn't get any extra expedition points. Oh no, it just takes a second. Perseverance is a key ingredient of research. You'll have my help every step of the way. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. All right then, so we're gonna return to camp for right now. Research lab, Professor Mirror's personal lab at the Laboratory of Ecology and Natural Sciences. There you can access your photo your space and other research data. Okay, sounds great. So, so far this game is really fun, really interesting, but also more challenging than I was expecting. Your photography seems to be going well. 
I think you're about ready for a nighttime visit to Forio Nature Park. Here's the thing. Hopefully, you'll get to see one of Lentil's greatest wonders, a glow called the Illum Illumina Pokemon. Speaking of... You're the one who discovered how, to glow how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my ultimate goal, finding the special Pokemon spoken of in the Legends of Lentil. You mean the Illumina Pokemon? I thought they were made up. No. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos, and they're ancient. Anyway, literally a hundred years old. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. So are we going to do that now? I guess we could, but I think that's what we're gonna see for next episode. Lots of fun. I had so much fun exploring this game. I can't wait to explore that same area again in nighttime. Hopefully get some really cool pictures of Pokemon. But let me know, have you tried this game yet? What are your thoughts on it? All that kind of cool stuff. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of New Pokemon Snap. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.